Is the TechNet PC3 the perfect 65 watt USB C charger for your devices? Stay tuned as we find out. Welcome back. At Tech Autos, we do reviews of the latest tech gadgets and automotive products. If you're new to our channel, consider subscribing. Today we're unboxing and reviewing the TechNet 65W 3-port USB-C power delivery wall charger. We purchased this at full retail price from Amazon, see the link in the description below. This is a 3-port charger with two USB-C power delivery ports and one USB-A port with a total output of 65 watts. It uses gallium nitride technology for reduced size. The box is very compact and shows a line drawing of the charger, as well as the model number TKPC003. On the left we see callouts for the 65 watt rating, foldable plug, and GANFAST, which is Navitas Semiconductor's branding for its gallium nitride power chips. On the back we see that TechNet is produced by Shenzhen Unichain Technology, and their site is technet.co.uk. Now let's open the box using what is definitely the correct blade size. Let's chop the piece of tape at the top. Now we open the box. Inside we have a card indicating the warranty will be extended from 18 months to 2 years if you register the product. Here is the user manual. The first page describes the advantages of gallium nitride over traditional silicon chips. Next are the package contents and a diagram view of the charger. Here we have something useful, the specs. The USB-C ports are labeled 1 and 2. Both of those are independently capable of outputting 5, 9, 12, 15, or 20 volts up to a peak of 65 watts. The USB-A port supports Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 for a maximum of 30 watts for supported devices. Next is where things get interesting for these multi-port USB-C chargers. How do they apportion power between the ports when multiple devices are plugged in? Here, when you plug in both the USB-C PD ports, port 1 delivers 45 watts while port 2 delivers 18 watts for a total of 63 watts. If you plug in USB-C port 1 and the USB-A port, port 1 outputs 45 watts while the USB-A port delivers 18 watts via Quick Charge 3.0, again for a total of 63 watts. If you do the same thing but with USB-C port 2 and the USB-A port, then you lose fast charging, and both ports deliver 5 volts with a shared total of 3.6 amps or 18 watts of power between them. But what's nice is if you plug devices into all three ports, USB-C port 1 still delivers 45 watts via power delivery, while port 2 and the USB-A port again split 18 watts of power at 5 volts, for a total of 63 watts. This is a pretty reasonable split. Basically, plug your highest power device into USB-C port 1 first, a secondary device into USB-C port 2 or the USB-A port, and devices into all three ports in a pinch. The list of charging protocols is pretty complete and includes PPS, which we'll test. We see the exterior dimensions of 56.1 by 49.7 by 30 millimeters and the weight of 110 grams. Here we have the charger and a plastic sleeve with an adhesive flap. On the side we see the 65 watt label, while on the front we see the two USB-C PD ports labeled PD1 and PD2, and the USB-A port labeled just USB. On the other side we see the TechNet logo, and on the rear we see a foldable US power plug. Here we have a nice listing of the charger's output capabilities with different port combinations. Useful in case you have a bunch of USB-C chargers and want to easily figure out which charger can do what. The charger has a nice textured black polycarbonate exterior and is quite light. This is what it looks like plugged into a typical US dual gang power outlet but upside down. If you plug it in the other way, it won't block the second outlet. 
We tested this TechNet charger with a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, a 15-inch Microsoft Surface Book 2, and other devices. Using a QA U2 USB-C analyzer, we verified that the two USB-C ports are both independently capable of 65 watts each, including all the voltage levels 5, 9, 12, 15, and 20 volts, and Qualcomm Quick Charge 4 Plus, including PPS for 3 to 11 volts, which enables the fastest 25 and 45 watt charging modes on certain Samsung phones. The USB-A port supports the full 12 watts, 5 volts, 2.4 amps of normal charging for Apple and similar devices, along with Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 and other proprietary modes like Samsung AFC at 9 to 12 volts, FCP at 5, 9 or 12 volts, and SCP 3.4 to 5.5 volts up to the rated 30 watts. The 15-inch Surface Book 2, which can pull close to the full 100 watts supported by USB-C PD, was able to draw close to 60 watts from the TechNet charger as the sole device plugged in. When the Galaxy Note 10 Plus was plugged in as the sole device, it drew the most it's capable of under Samsung's so-called 45-watt mode, labeled Super Fast Charging 2.0 on screen, which in practice typically draws closer to 20 to 25 watts most of the time. As expected, when both the Surface and the Galaxy Note were plugged in, the Surface dropped to a bit under 45 watts, while the second USB-C port plugged in simultaneously can do up to 18 watts at 5, 9, or 12 volts. If you plug in all three ports, USB-C port 1 gets 45 watts, while USB-C port 2 and the USB-A port then split 18 watts of USB power at 5 volts, which is 3.6 amps split between the two. Overall, we were satisfied enough by the TechNet PC3's performance and its compact design that we purchased two more to use around our office. It's a convenient little charger that meets its specs. If you have a high-power device like our Surface Book 2 and often push it hard, you might want a higher power charger, but this one works great for most use cases. See the link in the description below to check out the TechNet charger on Amazon. If you have any questions, leave us a comment. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and post any comments or questions below. Also, visit our site at techautos.com for more content.